I'm Jessica York, and I've come all the way from the HBO red carpet to tell you about All the Way, the newest HBO original film starring Brian Cranston as LBJ. John F. Kennedy has been struck down by the foulest deed of our time. He's gone. Mr. President. Accidental president, that's what they'll say. I urge you to enact President Kennedy's civil rights bill into law. It ain't gonna be easy, Dr. King. This president is gonna have to deliver, and we're gonna hold his feet to the fire till he does. We in the Senate intend to filibuster this bill. Everybody wants power. They think it ought to be given out, free of charge, like Mardi Gras beads. Nothing comes free. <laughs> Whatever happens, you don't quit. It's time to act. Stand up! Politics is war. You're not running for office. You're running for your life. I talked to Brian Cranston and the cast of All The Way about this amazing new film, and I'll take you there in just a moment. But first, let's make sure you have HBO, and if you do, that you're getting the most from it. Dish customers get nine channels of HBO. Plus, and this is a big plus, you have all the best of HBO available on demand. Just go to channel 300, and you can watch anywhere, anytime on your computer, tablet, or smartphone with Dish Anywhere and HBO Go. You can watch movies like HBO's All The Way, or blockbusters like Jurassic World and Trainwreck, or HBO's original series like Game of Thrones and Veep. Anytime, pretty much anywhere. It's so easy to add HBO. All you have to do is call us at 1-866-794-6150. Again, that number is 866-794-6150. Brian Cranston won a Tony Award for playing LBJ on Broadway in All the Way, and now he's come all the way to your TV room with this HBO film. I was on the red carpet to talk to Brian and the all-star cast. Must be a little daunting playing Martin Luther King. Uh, uh, horrifying more than daunting. It was um, it was something that I never wanted to do or uh, partake in. I feel like the great Paul Winfield did a movie called King in the 70s that kind of exemplified any performance of any actor who would want to play Martin Luther King. So I just stayed away from it. But um, when I read the script by um, Shankin, I was excited by the idea of portraying the King that I knew not the king that I've seen in other movies. So that's what kind of drew me into it. But the government can't legislate what people feel in their home. And he's right. The law can't make white folks love you. But the law can prevent them from lynching you. The law can prevent them from denying you a job and your child an education. But the law can ensure that you have the right to vote. Amen. Today to tell you fine people who to vote for. But come election day, let's be sure to send the fine senator from Arizona and his tender heart back to the desert where he belongs. What's really wonderful about what happened in that time with those two men, they couldn't have been more further apart. They couldn't have been more different, but they knew that they had to give a little to get a little. And they knew that no game is won by a home run. It's easier to win a game with base hits, base hits, which are much more likely than a home run. So they just picked off at their goals, piece by piece by piece. And that's something you don't see in contemporary society. I am going to make a public statement of support. Absolutely not. The first lady can't be involved in this. None of us can be involved. Well, he's distraught, Lynn. Then he could injure himself. That is not my problem. What? He is our friend. He was our friend. And then he stabbed me in the back. What, are we just never going to see him again? So you play Lady Bird Johnson in this film. What was that like, taking on that role? Oh, it was really fun. She's a beautiful, lovely, intelligent woman, and uh, it, was a, it was a joy to play her. Mm -hmm. I mean, th those are some pretty big shoes to fill. 
Uh, yes, I, yes, yes, she's a large, large size, high intelligence, uh, uh, amazing woman. Uh, a lot of research had been done by the playwright, uh, the come screenwriter, and uh, Jay Roach and everyone. So I had a lot of really beautiful help, and the costumes and hair department and all the rest of them really helped me find her. I'm holding this campaign together with a bale and iron spit. And if you're not with me, then you're against me. I know why you think you have to do this, darling. But you're wrong. You do what you must. But I will not abandon our friend. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have speeches to deliver. I guess one of the main things is I learned how much Lady Bird uh, definitely really helped her husband uh, uh, be the man and the president that he was. The turn from stage to screen doesn't always work that well. Why does it work well in this film? Well, you know, I think we started off uh, agreeing that we were not just going to shoot the play, that this was going to be a complete reimag cinematic reimagining of this story. And so from the get-go, this was going to be a film. And we were going to leave all of what we did on stage behind. And obviously, you still recognize the story, and some scenes exist, and some, some dialogue, but it's really a fully realized cinematic reimagining of the story. And, uh, and boy, we got to do some stuff that, uh, you know, we hadn't gotten to do on stage, and I got to fix some things I'd been itching to fix anyway, and boy, what a cast we had. Just an extraordinary cast. Uh, who brought, say, you know, Melissa Leo as Lady Bird, just knocks that out of the park, Bradley Whitford as Humphrey. You told Dr. King you wanted this bill passed without one word change. You don't go and sell a horse by talking about it being blind in one eye and got or the heat. You're gonna think you're just gutting the bill, sir. Bullshit. They sell a damn good bill. Public housing. Access, school okay. desegregation. Don't the you tell me that ain't nothing, God the damn it. party will think you betrayed Well, me. those are your people. It's your job to My bring job. them around. Hell yes. You're the great white hope of liberals everywhere. Well, if I'm anything like what you say, it's because people know I stand by my principles. Principles? This ain't about principles. It's about votes. You know, that's a problem with you goddamn liberals. You don't know how to fight. Kind of a slight turn from uh, Austin Powers and Meet the Parents. I feel like this is kind of Meet the President. Uh, that's, that's one way to look at it. Yeah. It, it is, uh, in a way, Meet the Parents was an anxiety dream, and so is this, because Johnson wanted to be president, but he got thrust into the office in the worst possible way after JFK's assassination. So I did actually try to connect to the, uh, the feeling of, uh, of not being prepared for it at the, exactly that moment. He was completely prepared as a politician, but to be thrust into that place at that dark time was a really daunting situation. And not a comedy at all. No, no um, but there, Johnson was funny sometimes. He actually used humor and pranks to throw people off balance. If I want to convince you to do it my way in some legislation, he would, he, he would trick you or uh, make a horrible off-color joke and as you were just trying to recover from that he would then say okay now what are we going to do so you can get on the right side of history with me mm -hmm. you know and that kind of treatment it was called the johnson treatment could be very funny sometimes it was also very intimidating and he got a lot done that way nice Some cufflinks mr president where you like these do you I do. Well, then they are yours. No, 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 that's really no. not necessary. Well, I'd do anything for you, Bill. Hey, you know that good old boy you put down for the federal bench? Well, it's a pretty tough sell for Humphrey's crowd, but if you were to support the civil rights bill, they'll just grin and bear it. Well, Mr. President, I'm not sure my constituents would approve. Well, I understand that, but maybe you don't have to fight quite as hard as you might otherwise. I don't think. Or maybe when the boat comes up, you happen to be overseas visiting our troops. I'm sure Elizabeth would love Europe. <laughs> you know she would, uh, like my wife. <laughs> here, look here. This is the seal of the presidency of the United States. There's only two cufflinks like this in the entire world, and you now own them both. I want you to wear them good health, Bill. And think about what I said, huh? You look good, Bill. I bet you dropped a few pounds, huh? I'm gonna need another set of those cufflinks. There's something about doing these films which is, um, it's therapeutic, you know, and I hope it, it's 
part of a conversation that becomes therapeutic for, for the country as well. You must just love going to award shows, don't you? <laughs> I love working. <laughs> and this is more work than working to me because, you know, I mean, I'm proud of the work, but I, this is, this is a, you know, picture, 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 picture. A lot of people think it's great. I, I, I get flustered by it and the, the strobing of it and I get a little dizzy. Um, I'm, I'm joking, of course. It's, it's, uh, it's great to be, and very fortunate to be in this position to where I can have the opportunity to pick and choose material that is important to society, as all the way is. It tells the story of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and Lyndon Johnson's working with Martin Luther King and, and Congress at the time. And I think it highlights the differences between politics then and politics now. And you play this so well, I didn't even recognize you at the beginning. If that's if a, I didn't see the credits, problem. I'd be like, where is Brian Cranston? Oh, well, that's nice. Yeah, Thank I mean, you. your voice, your mannerisms, I know that makeup had a little bit to do with it. Two and a half hours every morning. Mm. It was uh, but worth it because, you know, on stage when I did the play, I just put on ears and I slicked my hair back and put in some lines and gray and that sort of thing and popped on the glasses. Um, but when you're coming this close on film, we really needed to do it right. And so Bill Corso uh, created the, the makeup uh, and uh, Anne Mart uh, Morgan uh, created the hairstyle. And um, it really worked. It helped me tremendously because I, I saw the character of LBJ coming to life in the makeup mirror as I was preparing in the morning and drinking my coffee. And it, it helped kind of just ease me into that character and ready to go for the next 12 hours. Mm -hmm. And you signed on to do this with Jay Roach before you had ever really worked with him, correct? Yeah, before we did Trumbo together, um, he came to me and said, um, I, I was just, Steven Spielberg uh, <laughs> asked me if I wanted to direct this movie, you know, all the way. And I went, interesting. We're going to see how we like each other during Trumbo. But I already knew I would like him because we had already started talking about Trumbo and, and really digging in. He loves to work. He loves research. He's passionate. He's, he has endless energy toward it. And he's a, just a, a really a brilliant uh, a man as far as his directing talent and an even nicer person. And um, we're looking for the next thing we could do together. Everybody wants power. If they say they don't, they're lying. But nothing comes free. Nothing. I urge you to enact President Kennedy's civil rights bill into law. The Dixiecrats are going to fight me tooth and nail on this civil rights stuff. Now, not too tight. Leave me some slack for my nutsack. Lyndon is like a spoiled child. Those bastards would love to see me dead. Now, you're going to give them that? I don't think so. A democratic president ignoring his own party. Shameful. We might as well kiss the whole goddamn election goodbye. The hell with them all. Politics is war by other means. Show me some goddamn leadership. If you get in my way, I'll crush you. All the way with LBJ and HBO. HBO is the only place you'll see this movie, and let me tell you something, you are going to hear about this film next award season. Watch it now, anytime, on demand. Dish customers have all the best of HBO available on demand. Just go to channel 300. And you can watch anywhere, anytime on your mobile device with Dish Anywhere and HBO Go. You can watch movies like HBO's All the Way, or blockbusters like Jurassic World and Trainwreck, or HBO's original series like Game of Thrones and Veep. Anytime, anywhere. It's so easy to add HBO. All you have to do is call us at 1-866-794-6150. That's 1-866-794-6150. My thanks to the cast of All The Way and everyone at HBO. Don't miss this HBO original film. I've seen it and this is a great one. In the Dish Studio, I'm Jessica York.